Mike the Mixer. Mike the Mixer was brand new. His orange paintwork gleamed. His mixer was spotless. Even his tyres were perfectly clean. It was Mike the Mixer's first day out and he was longing to get dirty. I hope lots of people will want cement, he said to himself as he drove along the road to find some work. He hadn't travelled very far before he came to some major roadworks. On the left was a long queue of trucks and lorries waiting to dump their loads. Have you brought any stone or tarmac to put on the roads? shouted the man in charge. Nothing at all, replied Mike, but I'll fetch you a load of cement. Don't bother, said the man. We don't need any here. Now get out of the way. So Mike the Mixer hurried on until he came to a building site. This looks promising, he said to himself, as he parked beside a pile of bricks and some sand. Can I fetch you a load of cement? Mike called to the bricklayer building the wall. Too late, yelled the man. We've almost finished for the day. Can you move your block in the way? Quickly, Mike drove on and turned down the next road, where he found a man laying a new path in his garden. When he saw Mike, the man shouted across. I've just mixed all this concrete myself and now I've got blisters and backache. You should have come an hour ago. Oh dear, thought Mike as he drove on. I won't find any work there. All the next week, Mike tried to find something to do, but nobody wanted a load of cement. Mike was feeling very sorry for himself. So he drove around until he found a quiet street. He gave a deep sigh and switched off his engine. At that very moment, Mike heard a loud voice right beside him. You're just what I need. A cement mixer is the answer to all of my problems. A very excited baker was standing next to him, for Mike had parked right outside of his shop. Today, I must bake the tallest birthday cake in the world, the busy baker explained. I don't have a bowl big enough to mix the cake, and my poor arms will ache with all that stirring. Will you help me out? Mike the cement mixer was thrilled. A job at last. The busy baker got to work at once. He loaded butter, sugar, flour and dried fruit into Mike's mixer. Then he tossed in 100 eggs and a whole box of spices. Mike started his engine and his mixer began to turn. The busy baker shouted, whoa, when he thought everything was ready. Then Mike tilted his mixer and poured the cake mix into 11 giant cake tins. The cakes took hours to bake. When they were ready and had cooled, the baker decorated them with pink sugar icing while Mike watched through the shop door. Who ordered such a giant cake? Mike asked the baker that night. I have no idea, replied the busy baker, shaking his head. We shall find out tomorrow. And find out they did. Next morning, the zookeeper arrived with some of his staff to take the giant cake back with them to the zoo. Today is our giraffe's birthday and we wanted a cake as tall as him. The baker and Mike were invited to the zoo and asked to join the party. Could you stay and work for me and mix cakes instead of cement, the baker asked Mike. Mike the cake mixer agreed at once. The end.